Shane Dawson, you can't apologise your way out of sexually harassing children and subjecting them sexual acts on camera. I'd love to have a judge review the videos you've deleted. It irritates me to the core to see you continue to have access to children slash film them. Oh no, 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 no. An Anision, no! You, you haven't done it again, have you? You haven't caught another person. A nonce. I can't do this anymore. I, I, I just, I just can't do it. Honestly, I, I'm getting too old. No, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. Bye, bye. I just, I just, I just wish we could go one day, one day, Alicia, one day without you doing it. Just, why would you do this again? Why? Lads, I've had to make a cup of tea. I've had to make a good old cup of joe because I've worked out some interesting calculations for. For every cup of tea you make, every two minutes you spend making your cup of joe, I've worked out that Anision will accuse you of something extremely illegal. And before this, I really did like onions. I really liked you know, the taste of them, the texture of them, and then I saw the onion boy himself and I thought, well, well fuck this, no more onions anymore, because today we're gonna, we're gonna cut through the onion and we're gonna dissect Pedophile allegations. Good old pedophile allegations from our boy himself, Anision. Anision, the onion boy, he is back. He is back with more uh, pedophile allegations. Yes, you heard that right. Hello everyone, how you doing? And welcome back to another video. And yes, today we're going to be talking about the special man himself, Anision. Because in the past I've spoken about how Anision has accused other YouTubers such as PewDiePie and Shane Dawson of being paedophiles. And at this point, if you're not familiar with that, you're probably thinking to yourself, what? Th that can't be real. He's not, he's not that much of a fucking idiot to accuse the biggest YouTuber on the website of being a pedophile. I is he? Well, sadly, sadly he is. So before we go into anything more, I want to give you guys the story of how Anision called Shane Dawson and PewDiePie paedophiles. It's a strange world we live in. I've kind of accepted it at this point, but this is a clip of Anision basically saying that PewDiePie likes little kids. PewDiePie shocks the world with controversial tweets, and this is this right here is when I completely lost faith in PewDiePie. Um, and I'm not trying to say, you know, PewDiePie is a terrible guy or anything like that. What I'm trying to say is that I, even if you're joking, this sounds real. It's, it's one thing to, like, just say, you know, uh, some people are creeps and blah, 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 but another to say, you know, uh, that everyone has their tricks. I love whilst he's saying this shit, he's also reading an article titled PewDiePie gets caught saying the M word. It's like he's just trying to portray PewDiePie as this big fucking scary evil YouTuber who just wants to destroy everything. It's, it's just completely taking everything out of context and just being a pretty much outright fucking idiot. It really just makes me wonder, is, is there anything in Anision's head? Is there a brain in there or is it just a fucking onion? Because in reality, lads, PewDiePie isn't this big, evil, scary YouTuber. He, he's just a guy with a cool chair. That, that, that's pretty much it. But Anision didn't stop there. He went on to say that basically, because PewDiePie is popular, he somehow equates out to be a nonce. To this day about PewDiePie is how he could say that about a 12 year old and how he could say that everyone has their tricks, even as a joke. Because why, what would compel a person to make that joke? Like, I would, I would just like to know what was going through his mind because that's something I would expect. And I just want to, I want to establish something. I established before, it's very important. The people who prey, the people who target these kids, they are people who are liked by the community. Anision, uh, well, where's the logic? Where's the fucking logic in this statement? At this point, I don't even think it's justified saying you've got an onion in your brain. I just think there's just fucking hot air. Just hot air floating around in your big fucking head. So effectively, Anision has alleged that PewDiePie is a pedophile because of a tweet from 2014. The tweet was a joke about pedophilia on Snapchat with him saying, we all have our tricks to see 12 year olds. Yeah, I, I don't really want to read that next statement fully. And that tweet was in reply to Matthew Santoro talking about Snapchat, it was just a complete joke about big celebrities and big people online using Snapchat to basically nonce their audience. But PewDiePie even followed up shortly after that tweet, which Anision just doesn't happen to show, with this. I made a joke that people who use Snapchat want to see 12 year olds and now Tumblr is telling me I should kill myself. 0 out of 10, try again. My friends, that is called edgy humour. PewDiePie has edgy humour. He didn't really show up much in his past, but recently, especially in the last year or so, he has gotten YouTube itself into massive trouble because of his edgy humour. It's no secret that PewDiePie 
Can I just call him Felix? That, that, that would make it so much easier. It's clear that Felix has an edgy side. There is no secret to that. But Anision basically made out that he's somehow a paedophile because of one edgy kind of fuck joke. I don't think some of you may understand how mental that is. He insinuated that PewDiePie has hit the top fucking crime because of a tweet. What? Actual perverted jokes towards- Are you talking- you're talking about that tweet, aren't you? Okay, yeah, okay, it must be like, he's like, where he says everyone has their tricks to, to see 12 year old, yeah. See, I feel like if you don't ever do that, you're never gonna say that even as a joke. This is manipulation. This is him manipulating his young audience into buying in to his fucked mindset. And you are a sick, sick little cunt for doing this, Sinesion. You are fucking evil. So now you have an understanding of that and how he pretty much lied and completely slandered and made defamation of character of PewDiePie, we now move on to Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson is a YouTuber. Whenever I talk about him, I have to let everyone know that I fucking love Shane Dawson. So I'm, I'm always going to be skeptical of when somebody is outright slandering his name. And Shane is somebody that used to be a good friend of Anision's until they fell out. I'm not sure why. Maybe Shane just couldn't stand the stench of fucking onion anymore. Or maybe Shane just realized, oh, hold up. Anision is a manipulative piece of shit. But ever since that, Anision has just fell down off the fucking ladder and Shane has just risen to YouTube fame. And it's clear that alongside with that, Anision has got bitter, he's got angry, he's got upset. So he's led to um, using that bitterness, not to fight back, not to go and compete with him on YouTube. No, in terms of competitiveness, he's gonna try and knock Shane off by falsely accusing him of being a paedophile. Yes, because that's what normal humans do. When you fall out with your friend, when you have a big argument, you just don't want to talk to them anymore. What do you do? You don't block them on Twitter. No, you're, you're calling them a big dirty nonce. That, that, that's what you do. Obviously I'm joking, that, that's what a complete fucked up person does. A complete person who is just away from reality at this point. Now basically, Anision uploaded two long, long videos onto one of his many channels after Shane was accused falsely of being a paedophile by a channel called Pop Blast, of where there was this massive scandal, which basically turned out to be complete and utter slander, a complete fucking lie, which was easily proven, just clips taken out of context. But Shane thought, you know what? I'm gonna capitalize this. I'm gonna take advantage of this. I'm gonna push the narrative, which I've never spoken about before, that Shane Dawson, some reason, is a pedophile. He tried to push that lie with these clips. You have to be enraged by Shane because that man targeted babies and young, young, young children. Yes, there was no other context needed for that clip. He literally has said that Shane Dawson targets Baby, what? Babies, what the fuck? I'm a simple man, you know. If I see a cunt, I'll say, you're a cunt. If I see a nice bloke, I'll say, hey, you're a fucking nice guy. And if I see an evil, manipulative piece of shit, I will say, you are a fucking cretin. And Nision, congratulations, congratulations, you're on the cretin list. Saying somebody has targeted babies as a lie to push some false narrative is worse than anything Shane or PewDiePie have ever made jokes about. Now the clip I'm about to show you is a clip where Nision basically gave commentary over the fake pop blast video about Shane Dawson. And yes, you've already guessed it, it's as worse as it sounds. First of all, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like she's like sexy. You're not allowed to call children that word, no. If you know for a fact they're a child, you don't you don't say that. This woman is immediately almost trying to protect Shane. She's like trying to shut down his comments to get him not to express his true self, which he is clearly doing. But about three weeks ago, I was talking to Lainey, and you could talk to Lainey yourself and confirm this. But I was saying, you know, I think I, I don't I don't know what it is, but Shane has always had a weird relationship with children in the past. I've always been a little, I, there's nothing that sticks out, but it's just like a feeling you get. He called Shane Dawson a pedophile because of a feeling he got, a feeling. Great mate, that feeling isn't the feeling that Shane's a pedophile. That is the feeling of you being bitter and evil and trying to think of something that could ruin someone's career. I would honestly fully advise you to go to a therapist, genuinely, because you're convincing yourself. I don't even think that you don't agree with what you're saying. I think Anision genuinely believes this. He's convinced himself that Shane is a pedophile out of spite and bitterness. Go see a therapist, mate, because you're clearly not right up there right now. You're really not.
It's just really, really wrong and really weird. The whole thing to me is just a case of, oh, Anision has been accused of being a nonce before, so he's gonna go out right and say other people have been nonces, so uh, the accusations of what he's done wrong in the past is no longer relevant. We're referencing a video where Shane Dawson was talking about a girl who's less than half the age of any girl I've ever put in my videos regarding rating. Oh yeah, Gregory, that, that absolutely justifies not even jokingly rating an underage guy. Yeah, I'm sure that justifies this. Well, this girl's like an um, 8 out of 10. Yeah, solid 8. But Greg, what if she's 15 years old? Uh, well, last time I checked, we're allowed to have opinions about people. Why would you do this? An onion, 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 please. Please stop. But the hilarious and genuinely funny part of this is that he goes on to complain that apparently people have taken clips out of context of him of him rating underage girls. It wasn't out of context, there are genuine clips of it, but he went on to complain people are pushing false narratives. So there's a video out there of me uh, doing some bad math, really embarrassingly bad math. And people have taken that video and tried to use it against me, ignoring all other evidence, like all of it. <laughs> I mean, all of it as far as I can imagine, because the witnesses, the documented events, etc., the narrative of blogs that don't like me, they all match an alternative statement, an alternative accusation. This clip is so ironic. I could download it, shove it on a USB, put it in some fucking soup and eat the soup, because I've got some ironic soup right- Ah, oh, that was a shit joke. But I've got some real irony right there. Yes, this pretty much shows how much of a manipulative piece of shit Anision really is. He's falsely accused somebody, sorry, two people of being paedophiles. He's pushed a false narrative, but then he's gone on to complain about the exact same thing going against him. And now that's a video alone pretty much. That's all in the past now. It's a fucking shitty past, but it's in the past. Now we have to talk about Anision's recent Twitter tangents and even a new video, a new paedophile accusation. Somebody needs to take Anision's phone away from him because it seems that every single day he just calls somebody a paedophile. And this time, again, it's Shane and PewDiePie. So someone the other day tweeted at Anision saying this. If you really want all of this to stop, all you have to do is go on your channel live with an accredited lie detector testing person and answer simple questions like, are you a paedophile? Do you get turned on by little girls? For an honest guy like you, you should have no problem. And Anision, as he does, as usual, quoted the tweet with something very pleasant. Get Shane Dawson to take the test at the same time so I can watch that bitch sweat. He basically called Shane Dawson a paedophile once more and then deleted the tweet. But the good thing is, lads, the screenshot invention is absolutely fantastic. But I do have to thank my friend Vanilla Rice YT for sending me the tweet before it got deleted. So I genuinely would like to ask you guys to go subscribe to Vanilla Rice. He, he helped me out there. And his link is in the description. But after I saw Vanilla Rice sent me that tweet, I thought, well, that's just a, that's just a one-off, right? That's got to be a one-off. It's not. It, it's not a one-off. There are fucking loads. Anision has just gone completely off the rails in the last few days on Twitter. He tweeted this image the other day. The image has a load of things on it which Anision is alleging that Shane has done, such as told a girl around 12 to shake titties on camera, filmed it. Yeah, I love that something as serious as a paedophile allegation and he can't even work out if the girl was that specific age or not. This is how much bullshit these allegations are. He literally can't give the age of the girl. And this thing he's talking about right now is a joke. It's an inappropriate joke. And it was taken out of context, of course, by Anision to manipulate the situation, to manipulate his audience, in a video where he also put Shane recording a girl dancing, uh, alleging that because he recorded her in his vlog, somehow that makes him a paedophile. This is the genuine seriousness we're dealing with here. This is Anision manipulating once more. Shane has already admitted in the past he has an edgy sense of humor. Well, he used to have an edgy sense of humor. The whole pop blast thing came from him making some fucked up jokes, directly saying he had looked up certain specific things on the internet, which I'm sure you're all aware about at this point, which aren't true. It was a joke to shock the person he was recording with. There was other things on there as well, such as told the same young girl to eat a hot dog slow for all the child molest watching and filmed it. So the criticism of Shane he has here is that Shane gave a family friend a hot dog. Uh, oh. It just goes straight back to the pop bus thing. Edgy jokes, edgy humour being used. It's all 
things related to pot blast. It's the exact same thing. The thing we all had a go at pot blast. Well, not just had a go, their channel got deleted. Why has Anision's channel not been deleted? False allegations, why are these not being addressed? He's taken a lie, he's misconstrued it just to get more attention as, and as the hype beasts say, as some of you now watching may say, <laughs> to, to, to get clout. That, that really took some out of me, that really did. He then went on to make tweets like this. And Greg, I'm sorry, but giving somebody a hot dog and saying a few jokes here and there, that's not sexual harassment, that's not pedophilia, that's called having an edgy sense of humour and being a nice guy and feeding your family friends. None of these people were made to be uncomfortable because no one has come out. If they were genuinely affected by this, if anything really serious happened, I think right now, given the current state of the amount of people coming out against famous people, it would have been done by now, especially when the accusations were that big over four months ago. If I was 12 years old and somebody gave me a hot dog, I'd be over the fucking moon. I would be buzzing. Stop trying to make this weird, you absolute freak. And he went on more tangents about Shane after that, making so much bullshit. And then again, he drags in PewDiePie into the situation because of that one tweet from five years ago. PewDiePie, you got me. I pointed out, despite people acting like no one knows who I am, a lot of my videos have been seen and I get spotted in public a lot. My bad. Meanwhile, and then he proceeded to show the tweet from 2014, go on to tweet about it a few more times and just insinuate more lies. And this is so crazy to me that this is happening. This is the most direct form of slander I have ever seen on YouTube. And I thought to myself, well, it's YouTube. No one's going to get sued for slander. YouTubers don't sue for slander. Well, well, that all changed last night when I saw a specific tweet from PewDiePie. PewDiePie made a tweet about Vice saying that asked to be sued for slander after Vice made an article basically saying that PewDiePie teaches his audience to to, uh, I don't even know what, that, that, but that it was bad. It was really, really bad, and it was direct slander. And it does bring into the question of, well, surely if he's willing to sue Vice for something that probably isn't that damaging because it's complete bullshit, well, surely he's definitely willing to sue Anision, and surely Shane is as well, considering they're both massive and have the money and resources to perform that sort of action. The amount of times he's called Felix and Shane a pedophile and lied and misconstrued and manipulated that entire situation is crazy. It's probably probably actually made some form of damage on their career. This shit is borderline illegal. It is 100% an increment of somebody's civil rights, i.e. a civil wrong. This shit will lead to a lawsuit if he's not careful. And given the amount of money Felix and Shane are worth, this lawsuit would be massive. And Nisian would have to pay so much money based on the amount of damages they are on somebody so big and has such a big personality and big brand on the internet. An example of somebody being sued for slander is in 2014, a woman was charged 20,000 pounds, which is around $25,000, for a comment she made on Facebook, which was defined as slander. Just think how much it is worth in terms of damages of Anision attacking somebody with a big brand such as PewDiePie's. This lawsuit would no doubt ruin Anision considering it would cost millions, and rightly fucking so. I mean, whilst I was writing this script and planning this video, he came out with another video saying so much bad shit about Shane Dawson. Uh, have Shane Dawson sit next to me and take a lie detector test as well. I'd love to see that bitch sweat. Because I personally know that Shane is a creep. I know he's a creep. On a core level, I know he's a creep. I've seen his history of how he acts with children, how close he gets to children all the time, how uncomfortable it is consistently. Like, I don't know how other people don't see it, but they're teenage girls, so of course they think it's fine. This guy loves relating with teenage girls. He does it all the time. Mate, in his videos, there usually are no teenagers. It's usually him, Garrett, and his boyfriend. And the teenage girl thing, even if that was true, it would be kind of understandable considering most of people that watch his videos are young teenagers because he makes vlogs, he makes interesting stuff for kids. That doesn't make him a nonce. You're just basing that on your bitter thoughts, you sick fucking bastard. It's a 38 minute rant. It's all it is, a complete rant with no evidence, no screenshots, no clips. It's just complete and utter horseshit. He's completely slandering him. This is the worst case of slander. I don't even need to break it down because pretty much everything I'd say breaking that down, I've already said. In conclusion, PewDiePie has definitely shown that YouTubers like him, other ones such as Shane Dawson, are definitely up for suing people for defamation of character. And this could genuinely lead to Anisian's lawsuit because he is getting more heated about this. He won't stop tweeting these allegations. It's complete and utter slander and it could eventually lead to him losing his career pretty much because the amount of money he will have to pay in damages. And I genuinely hope 
that they do it because it's so fucked up and I would love to see him finally get his comeuppance. But that is the end of the video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a longer one and I'm glad you're still here if you're still watching it. If you want to like the video and comment on the video, let me know your thoughts about that. It would genuinely mean the world. And subscribe if you're new. Of course, that also means the world. If you want to let me know your thoughts at Twitter, follow me at iNavaTV or Instagram at iNavaTV. You can just basically like my photos and just, you know, Maybe comment on them and that's that, that's pretty much you can do on Instagram. But Instagram is a good way because I'm always on my story on there and giving people updates. And also, I would like to thank my patrons before I end the video. Big thanks to Leslie, Lily, Charm Skull, Bugger Badger, Cubes and Ruby, Amy Hosted, Devin, Michelle, Quack, Mary, Dink, Dino, Dora, Sophie, Joe, Anna, Mayo, Cyber, Rochelle, I'm your Billy, Zombie Sales, Akuru, Pastor, Rob, Zero, Five, Chester, Rockstar. Thank you so much for pledging to the Patreon monthly. It genuinely helps me out so much. It helps the channel keep going. I appreciate you guys for watching this long fucking video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.